Wow, that's great. Perfect. Is that better? Yeah, perfect. You remember this commercial used to come on TV? It was this Campbell soup commercial where this young guy would get a bowl of soup, and before he would eat that soup, he says, mm-mm, good. You remember that? Yeah, right. Well, tonight, mm-mm, good. You're going to see a show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be introduced to people who uh, sing pop, rhythm, and blues, who's a country writer, a person who got this all started, someone who wrote for Sports Illustrated. He didn't write about the swimsuit section, though. He wrote about sports. And a guy who directs plays. You're going to hear all good things about those people. Welcome. My name is Ron Simmons. This is the first annual Fine Arts Activity Hall of Fame. This is an exciting tradition, and we hope to continue this at Kennedy High School. I would like to introduce the school board, our district administrators, or my administrative team, and the uh, choir director. Without their support, hard work, leadership, this night would not be possible. School board members, would you please stand as I announce your name? Arlene Bush, school board member, would you please stand? Board Chair Marine Bartlotta, would you please stand? I know he was here, but he may not be here now. Board Member Chuck Walters, would you please stand? And Board Member Jim Sorum, would you please stand? And now for our district administrators, Assistant Superintendent Nancy Allen Maestro, would you please stand? And our Superintendent, Mr. Les Fujitaki, would you please stand? And now for my administrative team, my Assistant Principal, Mr. Rod Wade, would you please stand? Assistant Principal Carol Compa, would you please stand? <laughs> Assistant Principal Chris Krenz, would you please stand? <laughs> and our Dean of Students, Mr. Kevin Chetiquist, would you please stand? <laughs> and without least, our staff member, our choir director, Ms. Nikki Goulet Jordan. <laughs> All right. Well, I'd like to say congratulations to the Fine Arts Activity Hall of Fame and, to, and the inductees of 09. Congratulations and welcome to Kennedy High School. Thank you. Just make it good if you would bring the stage lines down to about half so we can see this wonderful slideshow that Mr. Cheddarquist has put together. It's my privilege this evening to first introduce my dear friend, Don Tebow. Don has been a um, teacher in Bloomington schools for 36 years. He was a chemistry slash biology teacher and theater director at Kennedy from 1983 to 2000. He was the area leader in the science department from 1995 to 1999. Mr. Tebow has directed over 150 plays and or musicals and was nominated for the Prodigy Award in 2000. He has taught at Oak Grove Junior High, Olson Junior High, Lincoln Senior High, and, and at Kennedy. He taught biology, astronomy, and chemistry and was also an integral part to the Kennedy's theater program, even though he is completely colorblind. Just kidding. <laughs> That's a long-standing joke between the two of us, yes. He has served as director on numerous plays and musicals. Even after retiring in 2000, he continues to direct and assist our theater programs. While Mr. Tebow was serving as theater director at Kennedy, he was able to have three shows each year and an on-stage banquet at the end of the year, a fall play, one-act, winter play, and spring banquet. 
His one-act teams were always among the top in the Lake Conference, and they participated in state three times. Mr. Tebow's involvement in the theater department has truly been amazing, and he has influenced the lives of hundreds of students. Former Kennedy principal Robert Schmidt states that Mr. Tebow provided creativity and enthusiasm for theater productions by involving all interested students in his productions. The sensitivity and caring personality that he displayed on a daily basis provided a wonderful learning environment for his students. Again, it's my privilege to introduce Mr. Don Tebow. Um, they are receiving plaques right now that will be hung right outside. We have the Athletic Hall of Fame, and we'll now have the Fine Arts Hall of Fame right adjacent to it. And next, the shoes that are unfillable, but whose footsteps I try to at least follow, Jim Bontrager. James Bontrager was the vocal music teacher and director at Kennedy for 31 years, from 1965 to 1996. While at Kennedy, he was not only a teacher, but also director of choirs, director of musicals, music clinician, state adjudicator, and workshop director. Mr. Bontrager developed a music program that included over 630 students per day. How in the heck did you do that? <laughs> and the award-winning J.B. Singers program. He also co-wrote Kennedy's school song. Mr. Bontrager displayed excellence in teaching. He always put his students first. His work is a testimony to the importance of education and fine arts. Mr. Bontrager and his choirs have won numerous awards. Bloomington Magazine named him one of uh, Mr. Music Men of the Year in 1983. Jim received the Bloomington Chamber of Commerce Excellence in Teaching Award in 1983 and 1991. From 1991 to 1996, the American Choral Directors sponsored show choir workshops in Minnesota. Mr. Bontrager was the clinician, and the event was held at Kennedy High School and included close to 33 schools. Mr. Bontrager was nominated twice for Teacher of the Year in Minnesota. He received congressional recognition for his contribution to education and music in 1996. Minnesota's governor issued May 18th, 1996, as Jim Bontrager Day. That's really cool. Yeah. Former JB singer Lisa Keith Bernard states that Mr. Bontrager was a great director. He taught me excellence, hard work, and professionalism. Former Kennedy principal Robert Schmidt stated that Mr. Bontrager was an outstanding motivator who energized all people around him. He not only was a master teacher, but also was a creative choreographer, which translated into highly entertaining shows for both students and adults. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Bontrager. I just want to say I'm very honored to accept this award, but behind all the awards, there's always people who back you up. And that is my wife, Darlene, who was always there. She said, I'm always a gopher. I go for this and that. And then also, I had the best students in the world, and the parents were very supportive. And we also had a professional staff and administrators that were always back in the program, too. So that helped make everything go. So thank you. I'm going to represent um, Robert Schmidt. Uh, Robert Schmidt was the principal at Kennedy High School from 1986 to 1996. He was a school administrator for 32 years. 29 of the years were in Bloomington. 
Mr. Schmidt was an assistant principal or principal at Portland Junior High, Lincoln High School, Jefferson High School, and Kennedy High School. In 1996, he was hired by the executive director for the Minnesota Association of Secondary School Principals. He retired from this position in 2006. Mr. Schmidt was recognized as the Minnesota Principal of the Year, recognized with the Prodigy Leadership Award from the Bloomington Foundation, and in the Minnesota Education Leader Hall of Fame. He also received the Lake Conference Leadership Award for creating the new Lake Conference after the old conference was dissolved. Mr. Schmidt served on advisory committees in Minnesota in Minnesota Governors Ventura and Polanyi, the Minnesota Commissioner of Education, the U.S. Department of Education, and the National Association of Secondary School Principals. Mr. Schmidt is married to a mathematics teacher, Karen, and they have two married children and five grandchildren. Son Mike is a colonel in the Air Force, and daughter Christy is a certified financial assistant. Mr. Schmidt and his wife live in a Mound, Minnesota, but winter in Surprise, Arizona. I represent Robert Schmidt. I had the opportunity to um, work with him for 10 years, and it, he was fantastic. I really enjoyed working with him. <clears throat> now I would like to introduce Mike McCall. For uh, he represents Steve Russian. Well, unfortunately, all of those that were here expecting to see Steve Russian are disappointed to not see him and see me. As his best friend since kindergarten at Nativity of Mary, I've spent a life disappointing people not being Steve Russian. <laughs> so I'm used to it. You know, there were a few. There, there was an event a few years ago when I was coaching in the NBA, and I was asked by a representative of Steve's to go say a few words in front of a small gathering. It wasn't any big deal, and Steve was being honored at a small little function in Connecticut. Well, I didn't really prepare. I showed up thinking it wasn't a big deal. It turns out that I was to follow Jim Calhoun, who was the national championship basketball coach from the University of Connecticut and had just won the championship, Bowie Kuhn, some of you older people will know, was the commissioner of Major League Baseball for years and years and years. Sparky Anderson, probably the most famous Major League Baseball manager, and everybody really only cared about waiting to hear Steve. So this is nothing new to me to be thrown into an awkward situation at the uh, behest of Steve Russian. Uh, as I mentioned, Steve and I have been best friends since Nativity. Uh, it was there in kindergarten where I faced off in a spelling contest with him, and I lost, and it pretty much sent my life spiraling downward, and he became a famous writer. <laughs> I knew then, and I continued to know every day growing up, that I was friends with an awful, awful talented kid. He used to put out a student newspaper in fourth grade called the Digital Times, which was pretty uh, innovative at the time because that was when everybody was finally using digital watches instead of clock watches. So the, the name Digital Times was a hint of his genius. He had some things in there. He had a column from Dear Crabby, for those of you that remember Dear Abby. That was funny for fourth graders. <laughs> he, also, he also started a knack of taking things where he wrote in that newspaper and wondered, what if Ella Fitzgerald married Darth Vader? Would she be called Elevator? <laughs> and, our, and, and the nuns at Nativity didn't think that was as funny as all of us did. <laughs> but about 25 years later, he was named the National Sports Writer of the Year for writing lines like, I wonder if the Naval Academy merged with the St. Louis Blues and the Portland Trailblazers, would they be called the Navy Blue Blazers? <laughs> so if your teachers, for all you kids out there, give you grief for coming up with that kind of stuff, you just tell them that Steve Russian made an awful good career doing that kind of stuff and, and let your creative minds go. You know, it seems like an awful long time ago, 1983, 
where we reunited at Kennedy. I went to Jefferson in ninth and 10th grade. As I mentioned, we both went to Nativity in grade school, and Steve went to Lincoln, and we found out because of Lincoln closing that we were going to have to go to Kennedy, both of us interrupting, you know, two years of our high school and thrown to this different high school that we've never been to and didn't really think we knew a ton of people. We thought, well, it can't be that bad. The first day, there was a fish with its head cut off and the words, newcomers die, spray painted on the parking lot. Now, that's, that's not a real appropriate story, but it's the truth. And we were a little intimidated, to say the least, at our first day at Kennedy. But you know what we found out? We found out that was because of the pride that the kids at Kennedy felt about newcomers coming into their school. And it certainly was not representative of all the people and the teachers that we found here. It ended up being the greatest thing in the world for us. I think in 1984, our class still holds the record for the most accomplishments, both activity-wise and athletic-wise. And we all grew up with a little complex of Jefferson being the school that had everything and Kennedy not maybe having all the opportunities. Well, in a three-week period, we beat them in wrestling, in hockey, and in basketball, all three weeks in a row to go to the state tournaments in each of those sports. And I don't know that that's ever been done before. So his bio is, is extensively long. I will just mention some of the highlights. Steve went on from Kennedy, and he was a journalism major at Marquette. While still at Marquette High School, he was writing columns for the Chicago Tribune as a freelance writer. He started doing research on a basketball book uh, that was written by a what ended up being a mutual friend of, who ended up being a mutual friend of ours, and he ended up being so impressed with Steve's work that he hired him in, at Sports Illustrated in 19. 19- 88, right out of Marquette High School. He was an immediate superstar at Sports Illustrated, rose up the ranks very quickly from being a fact checker to a senior writer, becoming the youngest senior writer ever in the history of Sports Illustrated, the most famous sports magazine in all of the country. Uh, He's written books that have been critically acclaimed. He's won awards all over the place, again, including, I think, the most impressive award, the National Sports Writer of the Year. So he's a very, very, very talented writer, He is now working on some novels that will be out. His first one will be out in the spring that I'm sure you will all find out. It's released on St. Patrick's Day, and you will hear a lot about it. He's uh, about the nicest guy that you could possibly imagine being a famous guy. He's godfather to my only son. He's an awful good guy, and we're all very proud of him, uh, that anybody that knows him are from the Bloomington family or the Kennedy family. So I thank you on Steve's behalf. I have the great honor of introducing to you a young man who has probably accomplished more in his lifetime already than most of us do in a full career, and this is Kyle Jacobs. Kyle Jacobs was a very active student at Kennedy High School in the Arts. He was involved in theater, speech, choir, and orchestra. He was the orchestra president, a J.B. singer, a Voice of Democracy Award recipient, and earned various degrees and awards in choir, including the National Choral Award, He was also selected as Student of the Week his senior year. From the time Kyle was able to crawl onto the piano bench, he loved experimenting with blended creations of sounds and improvising rhythm on various household items. Surrounded by music in his home and in his family, Kyle thrived in whatever musical endeavors he approached with ease. As a freshman at Kennedy, Kyle realized the positive effect his music could have on people's lives. He wrote and performed Michael's Song. After a classmate of his sister's in the Bloomington community contracted spinal meningitis and passed away within hours. After having the opportunity to perform this song at a Kennedy concert, he was deeply moved by its effect on his listeners, and from this meaningful experience, Kyle decided to make music his life work. Kyle never stopped writing music from that point on. In 1998, he won several awards from the Gospel Music Association competition, including Best Songwriter of 98, and Best Song of 98. Dan Keene, Vice President of ASCAP National, said, We believe Kyle is going to be one of the finest writers of our time. Kyle then released an independent gospel CD and was advised to move to Nashville to pursue his musical career. 
There he quickly caught the eye of assistant producer for the renowned Bennett House, Sean Schenkel. Sean and Kyle became a great writing team. Among several projects they worked on, the highlight of their collaboration was the release of the single hit, Eighth World Wonder, as recorded by American Idolist finalist Kimberly Locke. Kyle was then contacted by Curb Records, an international giant in the recording industry. Drew Alexander, director of Curb Records, said that when he talked to Kyle about a staff writing job with Curb Records, he said, I was expecting the same answers I get from others. He asked him what he hoped to accomplish as a songwriter in Nashville. And, and Drew said, I expected to hear him say, well, I think I'm a pretty good writer, and someday somebody might want to record one of my songs. Instead, Drew says, he looked at me in the eyes and he said, I plan on becoming the top writer in town. At this point, Drew said he felt like Kyle really had a good chance of being very successful. Matching Kyle up with their country writers and artists, Kyle was very busy and thrust into the limelight when his song, More Than a Memory, was recorded by Garth Brooks, became the highest debuting single in the history of country music when it entered the charts as number one. Kyle's career began to soar. Today, with over 40 cuts, some of his works include Tim McGraw, Still, Trace Atkins, I Can't Outrun You, Adam Gregory, Crazy Days, Phil Stacy, What I'm Fighting For, Craig Morgan, If I Had My Way, Jody Mesna, Just Existing. An extremely talented artist and writer, Kyle remains very humble, compassionate, and has the ability to work with people of all ages and personalities. Kyle uses his work ethics and his creativity to develop amazing songs. Although his writing efforts today are more focused on country music than in gospel music, his faith is very important to him and is at the heart of all of his efforts. Kyle is an extraordinary person who continues to have incredible success in music in his life. May I present to you Kyle Jacobs. Hey, thank you so much. Wasn't planning on speaking. Um, I uh, thank you so much. It feels it feels so cool to be on this stage, right here, right now, and and to think that what was 16, seven, 16 years ago, is where just kind of everything started for me, and um, just up here, just just playing with the orchestra and and uh, singing with with Mr. B and, and doing plays with Mr. Tebow. And it, I, am, I have to say that I am completely honored to be here with you guys. Absolutely. And yes, please give them a round of applause. And I have to say thank you to my mom who forced me into piano lessons, even though I hated them. And thank you to my dad for all of his support. And uh, thank you to my precious Lord, who has just inspired me with so many songs. And his, his grace has just gotten me out of so many crazy situations. And I'm so thankful to be here. Thank you very much. Very much. It is my honor to introduce to you a young talent, artist, and a writer who has incre incredible success in music. Lisa Carlson Keith Bernard graduated from Kennedy High School in 1978, where she was a member of the J.B. Singers and very involved in all activities of music. After high school, Mrs. Keith Bernard started her career as a Christian contemporary pop singer, backing vocalists for other lead vocalists and songwriters. In 1993, Mrs. Keith Bernard released her solo album, Walking in the Sun, on Perspective Records. Her first single, Better Than You, peaked at number nine on the radio and the record charts and went to number 36 on the Billboard's Hot 100 charts. In October of that year, she was a guest on The Tonight Show with Jay Lano. In 1994, Mrs. Keith Bernard was nominated for American Music Award 
for the best new adult contemporary artist. Mrs. Keith Bernard sang background vocals for many recordings, for records and for recording artists such as Janet Jackson, Amy Grant, and Herb Alpert. Her name also appears on many artists' songs for several songs that she has co-written. In 1994, Mrs. Keith Bernard received the Kennedy Distinguished Alum Award. Mrs. Keith Bernard currently resides in Bloomington with her husband, Spencer, and her two children, Chase, age 12, and Zoe, age 8. Her husband, Spencer, is also a Kennedy graduate who played guitar and bass for the J.B. Singers and then went on to produce most of Mrs. Keith Bernard's albums and co-wrote many of the songs with her. Today, Mrs. Keith Bernard homeschools her children, sings and is active in church, and also sings local and national commercials on the side. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Lisa Carlson, Keith Bernard. Hi, everyone. Uh, I just want to say that it's really fun to be back here. Kennedy meant a lot to me, my years here. And what I remember is since I was 10 years old, I could not wait to get to Kennedy and get on this stage and sing with the JB Singers. I came here so many years watching my older sister, and I couldn't wait to get here. And it was such a wonderful time of fun and learning and singing with Mr. B., uh, I learned so much, and it was here that I really realized I wanted to make music my career. I never wanted to do anything else, and it's just been wonderful, and I've enjoyed it, and I just am thankful for my start here, and just want to tell you all that it's very, just a big honor to be back here tonight, and thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations once again. Um, we need just a second to get our stage reset and then we'll start the show. in an empty room Your love starts falling down Better change your tune Yeah, you reach for the gold ring Reach for the sky Baby, just spread your wings
Don't breathe too deep Don't think all day Dive into work Drive the other way That trip of hurt That pine of shame Goes away, just play the game You're living in America At the end of the millennium
bringing me fears. Got no clouds up above me, bringing me tears. I got nothing to tell you. I got nothing much to say. Only I'm glad to be here with you on this heavenly, 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 heavenly day. Oh, all the troubles gone away. Oh, for a while. Tell you something about my life. Maybe give me inside between black and white. And the best thing you ever done for me 
is to help me take my life as seriously. It's only life after all. Yeah. Well, darkness has a hunger that's insatiable. And the lightness has a call that's hard to hear. I wrap my fear around me like a blanket. I sailed my ship of safety till I sank it. I'm crawling on your shores. I went to the doctor. I went to the mountains. I looked to the children. I drank from the fountains. There's more than one answer to these questions pointing me in a crooked line. And the less I seek my source for some definitive, the closer I am to find, yeah. Closer I am to find, yeah. Well, I went to see the doctor of philosophy with a poster of Rasputin and a beard down to his knee. He never did marry or see a big great movie. He graded my performance. He said he could see through me. I spent four years prostrate to the higher mind. Grab my paper and I was free. I went to the doctor. I went to the mountains. I looked to the children. I drank from the fountains. There's more than one answer to these questions. Pointing me in a crooked line. And the less I seek my source for some definitive. Closer I am to find, yeah. Closer I am to find, yeah. When I stopped by the bar at 3 a.m. To seek solace in a bottle or possibly a friend. And I woke up with a headache like my head against a board. Twice as cloudy as I've been the night before And I went there seeking clarity I went to the doctor I went to the mountains I looked to the children I drank from the fountains Yeah, we go to the doctor We go to the mountains We look to the children We drank from the fountains Yeah, we go to the Bible We go through the workout We read up on the Bible we stand up for the lookout. There's more than one answer to these questions, pointing me in a crooked line. And the less I seek my source for some definitive, closer I am to find. Closer I I'll explain what all these crazy people are doing in just a minute. Um, this weekend, we are having a brat, I almost said a cub stand, <laughs> a brat and hot dog stand at Valley West Cub Foods from 10.30 to 6, Saturday, Sunday. Come see us. All the proceeds go to the choir department. Really cool event we have coming up in two weeks. Um, we convert the stage to a nightclub, and you actually get to sit on the stage, and we serve you drinks and dessert. It's called the Cambrio Cabaret. Cambrio is a select chamber ensemble out of Rhythm and Gold. Um, tickets are $10. The theme is Life, Love, and Legends, and it will be May 7th, 8th, and 9th. If you're interested in tickets, see one of those kids or call the music office. And I think we still have Jamba Juice tonight. Please enjoy a Jamba Juice at intermission. Proceeds again go to support the choirs. We'll do this now. Yes. My turn. Okay. 
My name is Heather Young, and I'm an Eastside Swinger alumni, and I'm here tonight to tell you about an opportunity to help a member of the choir family. Um, cancer affects members of every family, and a member of our Rhythm and Gold Show choir family, one of the parents, Robert Gunderson, has been battling cancer since October, and he's had four surgeries and uh, chemo since then. We aren't here tonight to ask for donations for Gundy but rather for the cancer research being done by his oncology surgeon, Dr. Todd Tuttle of the U of M. Dr. Tuttle is nationally recognized as being on the leading edge in the fight against cancer, and his research has been a great help to Gundy and many others. This is a chance for our choir family to make a difference and have a direct impact on the fight against cancer. There will be people by the back doors near the flower table at intermission and at the end of the show. Um, please support our very dear, very loved former president of the Kennedy Choir Boosters, Gundy. Thank you. Um, this next number is not in your program. Surprise! It'll make, if you haven't seen Rhythm and Gold's comp set, you'll understand by the end of the concert, I promise. If you have seen it, you're going to get it right away. Um, without further ado... For Gundy, ladies and gentlemen, rhythm in old. <laughs> Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. And this will make things turn out for the best. And always look on the Wow, what a great evening. Uh, so much fun. Thank you, parents. My name is Josiah Telshow, and I've had the pleasure of uh, directing wonderful women in East Side Swingers this year. It's, uh, it's a very sad day to say that this is the last time that they get to perform this set and that I get to watch it. Um, I love it so much. Uh, we've had a rocking year this year, and coincidentally so, our theme for the year is rock and roll. 
Um, we, we begin with Hannah Montana's rock star. We travel back in time to um, some Elvis. We uh, are singing Jailhouse Rock and Can't Help Falling in Love. After that, we have a 50s medley for you of Rock and Robin and Rock and Roll is here to stay. And then we finish with uh, You Can Still Rock in America. Um, at this time, I would like to have our seniors come out, our senior members of ESS. They are, they are a wonderful group of singers and students, and we're all going to miss them very, very much, so thank you. Okay, without further ado, for the last time of 2008 and 2009 season, I give you Bloomington Kennedy's East Side Swingers.
Shall I say, would it be 
Oh, my God. 
skills, I'm a champion of D and D. MC Ezra, that's my favorite MC. Keep your 40 out, just have an Earl Grey tea. My rings never spin to the contrary. You'll find it there quite stationary. All of my action figures are cherry. Stephen Hawking's in my library. My MySpace page all totally pimped out. Got people begging for my top eight spaces. Yo, I know Pyro a thousand places. Ain't got no grill, but I still wear braces. I order all of my sandwiches with mayonnaise. I'm a whiz and mind sweeper, I can play for days. Once you see my sweet moves, you're gonna stay amazed. My fingers moving so fast, I'll set the place ablaze. There's no killer rap, I haven't run. At Pascal, while well, I'm number one. Do the calculus just for fun. I ain't got a gap, but I got a soldering gun. Happy Days is my favorite theme song. I can sure kick your butt in a game of ping pong. I'll ace any trivia quiz you bring on. I'm fluent in JavaScript as well as Klingon. It's the see me roll on. My segue, I know in my heart they think I'm wild. Protect them, my ergonomic keyboard never leaves me bored. Shopping online for deals on some writable media. I edit Wikipedia. I memorize Holy Grail really well. I can recite it right now. And have you R O T F L O L? I got a business doing websites. Thanks, my friends need some code. Who do they call? I do HTML for them all. Even made a homepage for my doll. Yo, I got myself a fanny pack. They were having a sale down at the gap. And my nights nice with a roll up bubble wrap. Pop, pop, hope no one sees me getting freaky. I'm nerdy in the extreme and wider than sour cream. I was in a B club and glee club and even the chess team. Only question. And I never thought it was hard. What do I like her or do I like Picard? Spend every weekend at the Renaissance Fair. Got my name on my underwear. They see me strolling, they laughing, and rolling their eyes because I'm so wide and nerdy. Just because I'm white and nerdy. Just because I'm white and nerdy. All because I'm white and nerdy. Holy cow, I'm white and nerdy. I wanna bowl with the gangsters. But oh well, it's obvious I'm white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Pretend you're sorry. I know you're not. You know you got the power to make you weak inside. And girl, you leave me breathless. But it's okay. Cause you want my survival. Now hear me say, I can't imagine without your love. Life 
without your love But even forever Don't seem like long enough Don't seem like long enough, yeah Cause every time I breathe I take you in And my heart beats again Baby, I can't help it You keep me drowning in your love Every time I try to rise above, I'm swept away by love. Maybe I can't help it. You keep me drowning in your love. Go on and pull me under. Cover me with dreams, yeah. Love me mouth to mouth now. No, I can't resist. Cause you're the air that I breathe. Every time I breathe, I take you with me, and my heart beats again. Baby, I can't help it, you keep me drowning in your love. Every time I try to rise above, I'm swept away by love. Baby, I can't help it, you keep me drowning in your love.
What you got if you ain't got love The kind that you just want to give away It's okay to open up Go ahead and let the light shine through I know it's hard on a rainy day You want to shut the world out and just be left alone But don't run out on your faith Cause sometimes that mountain you've been climbing is just a grain of sand. And what you've been out there searching for forever is in your hands. And when you figure out love's all that matters after all, it sure makes everything else seem so small. It's so easy to get lost inside a problem that seems so big at the time. It's like a river that's so wide, it swallows you whole. And while you're sitting around thinking about what you can't change and worrying about all the wrong things, time's flying by, moving so fast, you better make it count cause you can't get it back sometimes. That mountain you've been climbing is just a grain of sand. What you've been out there searching for forever is in your hands. And when you figure out love's all that matters after all, it sure makes everything else seem so small. somebody, Miss Chelsea Behrand, would you be my date to prom?
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are the one and only rig band. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good time tonight. This is a, this is a little Dizzy Gillespie tune called Salt Peanuts. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Salt peanut, salt peanut. Salt peanut, salt peanut. Salt peanut, salt peanut. Salt peanuts. Salt peanut, salt peanut. Salt peanut, salt peanut. Salt peanut, salt peanut. Salt peanut, salt peanut, salt peanut, salt peanut, salt peanut. I'm supposed to take more time tonight than I did last night because we were not completely dressed when we started last night. Um, a huge thank you for coming out tonight and for supporting an extra long concert. We appreciate that. Um, we need to say a huge thank you to all of our parents. They're the best. You saw the singing and dancing. Um, the hours and hours that they put in behind the scenes. We never, ever could pull off this program without you. So many, many thanks to you. Big round of applause. I need to thank my student assistants who have done a lot of extra work this week. And to John up in the light booth and Austin behind the sound booth. Thank you. And to my lovely ESS ladies who stepped in to do crew at the last minute, we appreciate that very much as well. Another. Um, tell you a little bit about our competition set. We learned this, um, we start in August. We learned half of it in August, half of it in October, and then in January we put everything together with our fantastic choreographer, Jared Voss. The theme for the set this year is Dance into the Light. 
starts really dark. Um, it's sanctuary from the hunchback of Notre Dame. And the text is sung in Latin. It's all about being liberated on the day of judgment. Then it goes into murder, murder from Jekyll and Hyde. Then into the men's feature, smooth criminal by Michael Jackson. The women's feature is cell block tango from Chicago. Dark, 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 dark so far. And then things start to change. Uh, the beginning of the ballad is called Lost in the Darkness, again from Jekyll and Hyde. And then we go into our ballad, which is called uh, The Distance You Have Come. And it's by a new songwriter, Scott Allen, who is big on Broadway right now. Um, and then, <laughs> always look on the bright side of life from Spamalot, which you got a little preview from the parents earlier. And then we close with Dance Into the Light. Always one of my favorite concerts of the whole year. Happy because it's been such a journey with them and sad because it's our last one. Um, so saying that, if I could have all my seniors band, please also come out on stage. Lots of time yet this spring um, to talk about how wonderful you have been, but you truly have been wonderful. You will be so missed. Um, please come back and see us next year. It's so fun to go to competitions and have you guys there because if you say it's good, then it's good. If you say it's not, then I've got work to do. <laughs> so um, all our best to you. Know that you are Loved very much and will be missed very much. And enjoy your last run. <clears throat> um, Sam's Club has made a generous donation and has donated cake for all of you in the cafeteria after the show. So please come join us for a reception for our inductees and all the kids. Um, they want you to have the full competition experience. This is a cheer that we do right before we go on stage at every competition. Enjoy. Thanks again for coming. Actually, um, before we do our cheer, we would like, stay here. You stay here. Um, <laughs> we would like um, to formally thank you. Um, for all that you've done for the program. Um, you spend so much time doing all this stuff for us, and the show would not be possible without you. And we rarely have a chance to thank you, and so we want to take this to you know, give our appreciation. You can open it. We got you two tickets to see Legally Blonde the Musical on May 2nd. And I believe we have a babysitter for you, too, so <laughs> we're all good. So I hope you enjoy, and thank you again.
flower in its prime. And then he used it, and he abused it. It was a murder, but not a crime. I bet you you would have done. Don't forget the distance, the distance. 
Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, give a whistle. And this will help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the right side of life. When life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten, and that's to laugh and smile, dance and sing. When you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just purse your lips and whistle, that's the thing. And always look on the bright side of life. Remember that the last lap is on you. In the door, brush away the tears of freedom. Now we're here, there's no turning back. We have each other, we have one voice. Hand in hand, we can lay the track. Because the track.